Hey everybody, Cyberverse Prime here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Studio Series 86 Deluxe Class RC. And let me just start off by saying this is the best um, retail transforming RC you can get in terms of her G1 um, appearance. And by God, I, I really want to say that she's one of the best. She's just gorgeous. Hands down, if you can get this version of RC, I highly recommend it. The Earthrise one, I would not recommend. That one is the shittiest. I, I don't like it. The original Generations one is pretty good. I've handled that one. But this one is by far the most superior so nonetheless let's get right down into her video review so rc here is um well she's kind of a hybrid of the original generations and the um uh earth rise but to a certain extent she also feels like a brand new mold but at the same time I don't really know. I don't really have too many complaints to say about this figure. She's finally got paint on her face. She's got the Autobot logo right here on her chest. She's got... Uh, she, she she just... It's G1 RC, damn it. It's, it's G1 RC. So, in terms of her articulation, some of it's limited due to her massive backpack, but it's... This is common on every RC figure. Nowadays, she's got a ball joint at the head, so she can get a lot of range of movement. She's got kind of a ab crunch, which is kind of insane, but I'm sure it's due to transformation. Ball jointed uh, shoulders, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, no wrist swivel. She's got a waist rotation, which is really nice. She's got universal joints here at the hips which is really cool. She's got a knee swivel, single jointed knee, which can, yeah, that's a pretty good kick there. Um, oh, whoops. <laughs> no RC. It's not time for transformation. And then she's got ankle tilt, which is really cool. And her feet can move forward and back. So yeah. And her one and only accessory is her little pistol here. So that she's, God, man, she's just a gorgeous figure, and me personally, I would highly recommend her. Um, oops, I'm dropping stuff on the floor here, but let's go ahead and get into some size comparisons, and uh, then we'll get into transformation. And here is our scene next to some other Autobots, and we have Hot Rod, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee, and she scales really nicely, um, pretty accurate too, especially between... Her and Hot Rod. Um, I, I can't remember it at all in the G1 universe if we've ever seen RC next to Optimus. I think we've seen her next to Bumblebee, and this might be accurate scaling. I don't know. Um, I really can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen G1. So, nonetheless, um, yeah, there she is with some other Autobots, and let's get down to Transformation. Okay, transformation is pretty simple. Just want to take her gun out. Okay. Um, her legs can sometimes be a bit tricky, so if you see me struggling with that, um, it's only because I'm having a brain fart and I can't remember how to do it. But nonetheless, what you want to do is extend her um, chest and her waist like this. Pretty cool. Now what you want to do is basically get all of her junk from her back kind of separated like this. Then what you want to do is fold up her head like this and then her chest will tab right there to make the front of the car. That's a really cool neat transformation that did not happen on the Earthrise one. Alright, then what you want to do is go ahead and fold her hands up like this. I do remember this part. Slightly, 
then her elbow. And yes, this is the official <laughs> way to, to, to transform her. All right. And then for her legs. Oh, oh yeah, just be mindful this little whatever this part is here, it likes to come out. So um, just be mindful of that, that little pink visor thing there. Excuse the, so, uh, excuse the, the, the train. If you can hear the horn. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, this little piece likes to get out of the... Fold out that piece. And then there is basically her entire car mode, almost. But her legs... Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I remember. You gotta rotate her waist. And you gotta flip the legs up like this and then they're going to tab into these these little pieces go into uh, this slot right here at least I am to believe yes yes I was correct oh I forgot these little parts here Crap. I forgot these little parts in here. Um, okay. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Okay, how do I get them out? Oh, no, I don't want to. Man, I already effed it up. <laughs> Okay, um, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. We need to fold out these pieces. This part is my bad. Already, okay, I remember how to get all this done. Okay. Okay. That's it, that's it. That's it, and there we go. Sorry about having a brain fart there. That was not on purpose. But here is RC in her alt mode, and very faithful to her alt mode in the movie and in the cartoon. Um, I think that this is, like I said, it can't be said enough that this is one of the best transforming versions of RC that you can get um, for mass retail. Um, for some size comparisons... Um, here she is with Ironhide, Earthrise Prowl, and 86 Jazz. And for the hell of it, here she is with Knockout. <laughs> Pretty cool, man. Um, I'm really liking these G1 Transformers. Um, I, I really am. Uh, I'm starting to like G1 more and more. Each time I get a G1 character, these are just, these are cool. I mean, yeah, I still love my my Michael my Michael Bay Transformers, but G1 man, it's just got some charm to it. And you know, I used to. Oh boy, please please don't hate me for this. But when I was a young when I was younger, I didn't like G1. I don't know what it was. I just didn't like it. But. As I've gotten older, G1 has been more of a statement in me because basically you can't really enjoy Transformers without watching G1. G1 is, is it the best cartoon? No. Is it, does it make the most sense? Maybe. But does it have the best you know, cast of characters, yes. Because really, I think the characters really shine in that cartoon and they really haven't been the same since then. And I think that's why G1 is so beloved. And G1 will always be beloved, especially by me, because I can't respect anything that came after it unless I respect G1 itself. But as you can see, I am not a G1 hater. I, I love G1. G1's great. But this RC even makes it even cooler. So nonetheless, 
Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video, which will be... I have no idea. You'll be surprised. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.